What up, buds? It's TBiz here, and we got a new gold label collection to check out. McFarland gold label, that is, and this is Nightwing. I always end up calling him Robin because he is Robin, but still, or has been Robin, but it is Nightwing. And uh, we got this from Walmart.com or just a website or whatever. I didn't find it in the stores, so I just got it shipped fast from them. And yeah, it wasn't. It didn't cost me an arm and a leg, so that was cool too. Still missing um, the Green Lantern, Vampire Green Lantern. But anyways, uh, yeah, man, I gotta check this guy out, man. He looks the head sculpt looks pretty sick. So DC versus vampires. I read a few issues of it. It was pretty cool, but I never got to finish it. Um, yeah, DC Ultimates, man. I need to resubscribe to that someday, someday soon. But yeah, got an awesome running in the back of uh, regular, regular. Um, what's his face? <laughs> Robin. <laughs> Dick Grayson, Dick Grayson, come on, man. It's been a long day, man. We had a nine-hour day today. We got our butts kicked, and I got to go back tomorrow at work to get my butt kicked some more, but it's all good, man, because it pays the bills, man. It pays the bills. God bless us. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's get this guy ripped open. Oh, and here he is. He comes with this, I guess, his own heart that's, like, ripped out of his body. It's a nice organ. Whoa, some plastic right there. Anyways, uh, yeah, man, that's freaking cool. It's tiny, but, man, the detail is pretty freaking amazing, man. That is pretty cool. Oh, it fell into the abyss, but we got it. So that's all good. And um, let's see what else. We got some ice cream sticks. Because I know when, guys, there's been some releases where we didn't get ice cream sticks or scream sticks. And uh, dudes were pissed. Pissed. But if you're a fanatical completionist like me, you're going to have some scream ice cream sticks somewhere about. Got our stand as usual. And then we got a grippy hand for holding said scream sticks. So there you go. One hand. I guess, I think his other hand could hold a stick too, but that hand, I guess, is supposed to hold a, um, a heart or his uh, pumping heart. And there's a hole, or I guess, blood from his chest where I guess it would have been ripped out. But that's on the opposite side because we're talking about this at work. I showed the guys at work and they're all, that's on the wrong side. I'm like, yeah, it is. Oh, well, weird. Maybe they're all like that. I don't know. Maybe they're not. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. But either way, face sculpt is amazing. That is pretty sick. Hair sculpt's pretty rad too. Got a place for his ice cream sticks. He's got a nice butt, man, for a dude. I'm not lying. Anyways, um, yeah, dude. It's regular shoes we've seen before. So there you go. I think this is a regular buck, man. I don't know. I'll have to look at some of my other night wings and see what's up, man. See what's happening. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll go into the articulation. He can almost do good splitsies. He's got double knees. Um, he's got the ham. Or it, actually, he's just got the ball ankle and it does a swivel rocker pivot and all that toe joint um it's got the diaphragm which guy has pretty good range from side to side back and forth waist uh, shoulder swivel bicep double elbow ratchety double elbow and you got a ball joint a wrist and a hinge and a swivel it looks like he's bowling that's funny anyways and uh yeah the head swivels and you can nod a bit so there you go man there you freaking go anyways let's get him posed up a little bit here we have him posed up clutching i guess it, it is his heart right i think i'm pretty sure it is i don't know but anyway <laughs> here we have him clutching his own heart or is it somebody else's i don't know i don't i don't know i should know but i don't know but anyways at least i'm honest shit anyways but yeah there you go that's freaking rad the telltale heart it's all the thump the thump the thump that's rad. That's pretty freaking cool. And once again, the head sculpt, the face sculpt is pretty rad. Pretty amazing. I like it. That's freaking rad. That is freaking rad. To go along with your Damian Wayne and your um, your Vampire Batman. And if you have him, the uh, Green Lantern, the Vampire Green Lantern, which you need to get. Anyways, we'll get him another pose. And we forgot to read the old trading card, but we'll do that in a minute. But yeah, let's get him another pose. Uh, here we have him posed up with his Screaming Sticks, man. It's pretty cool, dude. I like him. It's pretty rad. Uh, my buddy uh, Wampire on YouTube uh, teaches how to fight with sticks and stuff and knives. He does like a scream out of calling and stuff like that. And he can show you how to uh, actually whip the shit out of somebody with some sticks, man. And it is a thing. It is art form. It is a form of martial arts. And it is pretty wicked because if you only have a couple sticks, you can learn some moves to really F some guys up. Like take an eye out. You know, you name it, man. Smack some teeth out, whatever. Like, just, yeah, poke and prod and hit like yeah you can do a lot of damage with some just some sticks if you just know if you practice enough and use the right force man it, it can it can happen it can work but uh, i think this is a good pose man i get my my buddy's um good tone i mean evil villain and um and uh overlord productions make fun of the way i pose guys but oh well i don't really care 
I'll, I pose them the way I want, but uh, I think that's a good pose, man, for fighting with the ice cream sticks. I mean, the screamer sticks. Anyways, um, yeah, that's it for our look at this guy. Let's see if we can find another Nightwing to do a comparison just to, just to appease the fellow viewers and I guess a little bit of myself deep inside. Here you go, folks. That's the same Nightwing, just different head. Just different head and some different hands. Some more claw-like hands. And, uh, yeah, it's it's the same freaking body, dude. So there you go, man. There you go, people freaking out over reuse. It's like, me, I ain't never mold. But anyways, uh, here, here we go. Data file, real name, Dick Grayson. That's Dick Grayson. Uh, vampires are hunting on the streets of Gotham City as the coming undead plague uh, makes... Uh, Makes its first move. Batman's investigation into the disappearance of Andrew Bennett takes him into the sewers beneath the Hall of Justice where he makes a stunning discovery. So there you go, man. There you freaking go. Man, I really need to... Uh, if I could just, like, do... I don't know. I need to, I need to re-up some subscription to DC, the DC Ultimates. Or DC, not DC Ultimates, Marvel Ultimates, but the DC Infinite, yeah. Because, man, you can read so much stuff. But if you do 100 bucks on there, you can read everything. That's actually pretty cool if you're willing to spare that much money. But anyways, uh, once again, thanks for everybody tuning in. And, yeah, it's the kickoff of my birthday week. So it's Sunday. It's the kickoff of the week. I mean, it, it, dude, 48 years, man. It's not my birthday yet. It is on Friday. But to make it 48 years in life, and I have most of my teeth, I'm missing, like, one tooth. And the rest are pretty bad. But either way... All my limbs are here. I don't want to jinx myself, but I got all my limbs. I can still see okay. I can drive. I can do all that. I got my car. I got my license. Let's see. My ticker's still working. My ding-dong still works. Everything's still pretty much going, so I'm blessed for that. Um, I have a family, which is cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're all... Everything's cool, man. So, yeah, let's just keep our fingers crossed and see if we can make it some more years because to make it through 48 years in this world... Where people drive like shit everywhere and they're psycho. Yeah, it's it's a thing, man. And then I survived the city bus for 13 years. But who's going to mess with the big Hispanic dude with tattoos missing the tooth on the bus? Be honest with you. Who's going to mess with that dude? You guys know better because you all know how, how much of a sissy I am. But uh, but people, I guess, when I was riding the bus for those 13 years, I guess they didn't know. They were just like, oh, I'll leave that dude alone. Which I was left alone quite a bit. And I've seen some violence and some ugly things and verbal violence on the bus too but anyways that's that's neither here nor there we're done with this video anyways uh thanks for watching y'all and have a good one all right later bye